<laughs> go back and forth like like today I tried to dress like pretty normal when I went mm. back to Oregon City so I could you know just be objective press but I don't know if my tattoos and stuff just didn't work I don't know what what the best thing to wear is because I do want to be objective press I don't want to be on one side or the other but right well they sort of make it that way mm -hmm. um us cop watchers were on Antifa side until they decided to attack it like six of us down at the ICE protests. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, bit. yeah. The ICE protests is where they really, they let loose sometimes, you know? Yeah. Like, more so than the Portland PD in the past, I don't know, six months or so. Mm -hmm. Like, they just all it up. What was it? What was the last one? That night that um, the Apple store got lit on fire downtown, were you there? No. That was the last time there was a big thing, guys. No, I don't know why, but they seem to think I'm a proud boy. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the cops do? No. The proud boys. I mean, maybe that's good, like a disguise, right? No. No. <laughs> no. My whole thing is, like, if I can fluidly go from one side to the other. Yeah. See, Antifa, th Antifa and BLM thinks that I'm a proud boy, and I'm not. Mm. I don't even like the lifestyle. You know, it's so interesting today. Hmm. I, was, uh, I was at Oregon City, you know, with the Proboys and all that. Yeah. Towards the end, it's just interesting to me when you see, like, African Americans who are Proboys, who are, like, throwing mm. up the white power symbol and stuff. And I guess I don't know enough about it, but, like, how did they get there, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's fascinating to me, like, the psychology behind it. Well, all these conservative groups are classified as racist, yeah. even though they're not. I mean, look at Joy Gibson. He's white supremacist he's all this white stuff and he's yeah. he's half white and half japanese look at tiny tiny right, tiny yeah, yeah, island absolutely you know tiny's not interesting yeah me i got a son that's 25 years old i got two granddaughters yeah you know um and my son is half white, half Mexican. So. It's like the anti fascists here, they think you're like a proud boy. <laughs> and I really don't get along with the proud boys that well. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of them I do, but there's a few I don't. Mm. So. so you do skirt both sides then? Huh? That's like the true. Well, if I were to walk, right? if I were to walk over there into that group right there, yeah, I'd get jumped. Really? Yeah. Because like, because you're a known person. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Okay. <laughs> I've been out for a year. I've never seen you before. I don't know. Hmm. With you're a cop watcher, which means like you hold them accountable. That kind mm -hmm. of thing. That's fucking cool. It's interesting tonight. Um, I feel like the crowd's really young. Which is kind of cool, like they're very energetic for like not very many numbers, you know? Yeah. What I thought was really funny so earlier when I first showed up a couple of hours ago, I was on that side and I started like walking this way towards the cops just to film. Mm -hmm. I was on the sidewalk and the loudspeaker got on. They're like, hey, you, like, stop, turn around, the street is closed, you're not allowed to be here. Mm -hmm. Like, as far as I know, like, press is, they can't order you to, to disperse from sidewalks, right? You're not supposed to. Right. They, uh, I try not to fuck with them. Yeah, I, I walked down here and filmed them dealing with people, mm -hmm. and they threatened they threatened me to with to arrest me for trespass and interfering with a police officer mm -hmm. unless I get back over here because the uh, street's closed. Yeah. But I see them. But if you're pressed, yeah. you are like they yeah. can't do that. As I, you're on yeah. sidewalk public and, property. Yeah, and then I see them letting people walk back and forth, and the, the sergeant I asked about that, I go, well, you're letting people walk back and forth. But you're not letting people film. He goes, no. Huh. I mean, <laughs> literally not legal, but no. That they don't care. Then what really got me mad was they encrypted all their uh, radios. Yeah. That's how we were finding out where they were at. Was we we had a scanner, so we'd listen to the scanner and know where they were going, head over there and film. Since they encrypted it, that pretty much messed us over. 
I still, you know, I, I still go on to old training and that's basically follow. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. But I think both sides ought to sit down, talk, and work things out. I mean, there's a lot of things that they both have in common. There's some stuff they don't, but I think they have more in common than they think. True. I think that, I was talking to someone else about this tonight. It's like, um, think about like other first world countries like Canada or places in Europe where like police are not so contentious, they're not so armed. Like the police work for the public, they're there to mm -hmm. protect and serve and de-escalate, all those things, right? And it works okay. Yeah. The problem with American police is that it's so deeply rooted in the KKK and white supremacy. When people talk about reform, it's just, it's so... When when the thing that it was based off of was white supremacy, mm. reform seems so hard, but... I don't know, this is contentious. Like, I know all these people are abolitionists. But I'm like, mm. there are police forces that work in other countries. It's just, yeah. it's so hard in America with just the race history, right? Mm -hmm. And the, just there's so many people who are on the police force who are also proud boys. I don't know, it's hard. I don't know, I haven't seen any proud boys that are police officers. I mean, so I, I've been out here for a year and a half, and I see police officers with like a thin blue line patch, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, we're, like, we're totally against that because that's that's basically showing gang colors. Absolutely. And um, you're, or, in Oregon City today, you know, you mm -hmm. see the police like protecting the proud boys, that kind of thing. Like, well, if they were more objective and be able to like protect and serve uh, and be objective, like that could be a better standing point. But I, th I don't know. It's just the police well, are coming. Well, who had the permit to be there? The proud boys. <laughs> and, they, and they were yelling at the. I have a video of that actually. They were like, "Oh, you're not gonna kick Antifa out. We have the permit to be here." And that yeah. was funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. So they had the permit, which means that they had the permission to be there, right? Mm -hmm. You know. Absolutely. When you think about, okay, so like Proud Boys or like Patriots of Flag Wave, um, mm -hmm. they're not super police, but they are kind of like back the blue, right? And like mm -hmm. these police officers, like they are real people with real personalities. And like, who are you really going to side with? Mm -hmm. Even if you're trying to be objective, um, the people who quote unquote back the blue, you know, or like Antifa who want to like abolish the police. I yeah. get it, like they're not total robots. Um, like, more and more conservatives are deciding not to back the police. Yeah, no, I know. That's the other thing I saw today <laughs> down there. It's just like a lot of proud boys actually trying to fight the police too. Yeah. Yeah. If reform was possible, it'd be interesting, but mm -hmm. it's just like the starting point is so far off. Bright spotlights in there. I don't know what that is. What's that? Well, uh, so if you're over here. Oh, that light? Okay, I got bear mice in my lungs. There's bright spotlights over there. Yeah. What are they there for? Well, <coughs> come here. I'll show you something. Sure. See the front of that car right there? Yeah. That's r ricocheting. Oh, oh, it's a reflection. Yeah. There you go. It's a spotlight <laughs> reflection thing. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, with Portland, when I'm looking, when I'm looking around for a Portland cop, I look, and then I'll, red. yeah, sorry, go ahead. I'll I'll look and wait for uh, and follow them, mm -hmm. um, and if they're going code three, which means lights and sirens, I'll follow them. And uh, I'll uh, um, look for lights and stuff like that, uh, ricocheting off buildings and stuff. I can tell you've been around a little bit. You got some experience. <laughs> I'm glad to meet you too. There's like a middle ground that we can all meet in, you know? Yeah. yeah. Northeast 6th Avenue and Northeast Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. 
please move back to the sidewalk now. Failure to adhere to this order may result in detention, citation, and or arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. To our neighbors in the area, we apologize for these announcements. We know they're loud and they may be inconvenient in your evening. However, people are attempting to approach and damage our precinct. <laughs> so <sorry. laughs> so yeah, my my camera cuts them into like eleven minute videos, eleven minute forty something second videos. Mm -hmm. I think this one I'm gonna go poor police apologize. <laughs> 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 But yeah, I got a lot of friends on both sides, so. 